That's it. We're done with the questions. All that's left to do is stare into each other's eyes for four minutes without talking. Okay. No, wait, hang on. Bladder check. <laughs> We're good to go. You ready? Yes. And begin. This is kind of creepy. We're not supposed to talk during this part. Sorry. <laughs> this is kind of creepy. Do you want to stop? I know you have trouble with eye contact. Well, you have a brown fleck in your right iris that looks like a Formula One race car. So... I'm just concentrating on that. <laughs> Plus, it's easier around people that I'm comfortable with. Oh, sweetie, I'm comfortable around you, too. Of course you are. I'm warm and soothing. <laughs> I'm like a human bowl of tomato soup. I meant more like a little brother. Oh. Well, I suppose I do think of you as a sister. And sometimes a mother. <laughs> getting creepy again. <laughs> what? Just think about the day I met you and Leonard. It was a Monday afternoon. You joined us for Indian food. Can you believe it's been eight years? Yeah, and you're still eating our food. <laughs> I can't remember a time you guys weren't in my life. I remember it perfectly. <laughs> I have an eidetic memory. If you're interested, I also remember how much you owe us for the food. <laughs> That's it? That wasn't so bad. No, it wasn't. Uh, now let's tabulate the results of the experiment. I think it's safe to say that you're not in love with me, and I'm not in love with you. And psychology has once again proved itself the doofus of the sciences. <laughs> well, maybe, but I'm still glad we did it. I do feel closer to you. And I you. And yes, that's how you say that. <laughs> yeah, so... Given our newfound intimacy, I'd say we have some hard choices to make. Like what? Gary Con, do we fly or drive? <laughs> do we wear costumes? And if so, who gets to be Gary? 